Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. I'm Mick, your host with the most just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Why DC movies and TV are better than Marvel movies and TV. DC has a great history of movies, TV, live action and even animation going back to the 60s. Actually going back to the 50s. What am I talking about? The George Reeves Superman show, The Adventures of Superman, was around in the 50s. It was groundbreaking. A whole audience who loved the comics got to enjoy a live action Superman show for the very first time. In the 1960s, we had the Batman live action TV series. We had the brilliant Adam West as Bruce Wayne and Batman and Burt Wood, the enthusiastic Burt Wood as Dick Grayson, AKA Robin. What a show that was. Not just a silly campy show that people think it was. I was binging it all day on Batman day yesterday and it has so much depth and that 66 movie is one of my favorite Batman films of all time. We have the 1978 Superman movie, which was groundbreaking within itself and is still timeless today. We have another three Superman movies, of course, that are probably not as good as 1978's movie, but still, they're there. You've got Batman 89, you've got Batman Returns, You've got, if the DCEU is your type of thing, of course, you've got Man of Steel. For me, an outstanding piece of work, Batman versus Superman. An outstanding piece of work, 2017's Wonder Woman. A better representation of a female-led superhero movie than Captain Marvel is. Captain Marvel's about extremism and propaganda and the hatred of the straight white male, Wonder Woman, is about love. Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot during the marketing standing there, not only with young girls dressed up as Wonder Woman, but young boys as well. It was a very positive campaign, unlike the Disney Marvel Captain Marvel campaign. Zack Snyder's Justice League. I'm so proud to have a four hour epic Justice League movie on physical media in my collection. What a film that is you've got Joker, an outstanding film. You've got Smallville, one of the greatest television shows in the superhero genre, a decade long show. Superman and Lois, another new revolutionary way of doing Superman in live action and in TV. You've got Matt Reeves, The Batman, an amazing film, an amazing film depiction, quite an accurate depiction of the comic book Batman. And I could go on and on. Then you've got Arrowverse. Now a lot of people mock Arrowverse, but the early seasons of Arrow and The Flash and, you know, Black Lightning and even the early series of Supergirl was pretty, pretty good until they went silly. So many achievements. And I think the only things that can really live up to DC and what they've done in television, animation and film in Marvel is really the Incredible Hulk starring Bill Bixby and Lou Ferrigno and, the, and Spider-Man and his amazing friends and Daredevil series one. People will say to me, but Mick, the MCU has better box office and better Rotten Tomato scores. It has nothing to do with scores. It's not about you getting your MCU plonker out and measuring box office and Rotten Tomatoes and reviews. It's about artistry. It's about quality. And, you know, I think in terms of Marvel movies that can compete with the great DC movies I've just listed here is Captain America The Winter Soldier, a great movie in its own right, made the way movies used to be made. Infinity War is a great movie. I think the first Captain America film is also very, very good. I like the first Iron Man, but I don't like it as much as the other ones I've listed. But in terms of the long history of DC, in live action, animation, television, it is superior to anything that the MCU and Marvel have done within their history. And I think that's a very, very factual statement.